I wanted to do for a while is demonstrate the effects of slender column, column buckling, uh, especially in the context of World Trade Center 7. Now here I've got the equivalent of a column, which is this piece of steel here. And these things here are the equivalent of floors, which are bracing the column from the sides. Uh, the column itself, this piece of steel, is free to move up and down. And on the bottom, it's simply resting on the concrete there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate how much force I can put on top of this. What I'm going to do is balance a plank on this, and the other end of the plank will be on this step ladder. And then I'm going to put my body weight on that and see if it supports it. Alright, let's give it a go. Oh, it's a little hard to balance. Alright, so that is quite easily supporting a very dynamic load from me and uh, it is not buckling at all. Now, the point of this demonstration is that if it is not braced, then it actually is extraordinarily weak. It can hardly support any weight at all. In fact, I can, I can bend it with just uh, perhaps 10 pounds of weight. And once it is buckled, it hardly supports any weight. When it's in this structure here, when it's actually braced along its length by the uh, seven floors that we have here, it becomes incredibly strong and can take a very large dynamic load.